Alright, the new addition is a 60 inch Samsung TV behind a 58 inch Samsung TV which it looks so much bigger for some reason. I know it's not but why does this look so much bigger than that? It shouldn't be. And then an old MacBook or an old Mac Pro. Uh, this is the 8 core Xenon processor. Hopefully this thing is still, I could get it up to date so that I could put a Premiere Pro on here and see how well it it works. I mean, my computer is fine, it's just there's so many stuff breaking on it and it's not as reliable. I don't know. I'm, I want to put an SSD in here, but we'll see how it goes. It made no sense. This this TV looks so much bigger than that one. So I busted out the tape measure, and lo and behold, 58 inch and 60 inch. So it is only a two inch difference. It's not that much bigger, but just the way it looks, it looks looks like there's a huge difference for some reason. So um, this needs work. It supposedly turns off by itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. Maybe do some soldering. This one I need to hook up. We'll see how it works out. All right, TV fix attempt number one. Um, I did go ahead and fix this now. So I'm gonna run this for the full day up until tomorrow, 24 hours, see if it turns off or not. The, it had a problem with power where it turns off by itself. I went along and fixed that and then now I'm just running it. Our original TV's there, the 58 inch is there, the 60 inch, the 60 inch is running. Kind of on the fence on whether replacing it or not. But let's see if this turns itself off and on or not. Time for the Mac Pro. This one, everything is good to go. Alright guys, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know which one's better. Um, the 58 inch looks much cleaner and clearer than the 60 inch. I put them both on standard. So, um, the size, again, I measured it with a measuring tape, 58, 60, there's really not that much difference in size. <sighs> I don't know. I think that's a better comparison. This is the 60 inch. And then this is the 58 inch. Again, the 58 inch is cleaner much much cleaner all right so this thing's like brand new pretty much it, it's, it was never really used um hopefully it's usable so i could use it but if not then i gonna probably sell it but I'm most likely gonna use it but i'll pop it up and connect it and see how it how it works the mac pro is giving me all sorts of hell and I got it up and running. I now I'm uh, I'm updating the hard drive in the most uh, unorthodox way. That's the uh, hard drive I had. I took off my wife's MacBook Pro and I switched it out to uh, SSD. So that's one of those spinny hard drives, but it still had the OS on there. So all I'm doing is cleaning out both of these hard drives that are in here and then just uh, mirroring over that one to this one through the disk utility, through that one, through that old hard drive, because this one has never been updated, so the OS is from 2009. But it seems that this thing's pretty much brand new. I opened it up, it's, it's like darn near brand new. Um, and it's still a powerhouse for what it is. So I wanna see if I get this up and going. Day. Um, I got a shave, but more than that, 
I finally decided what I'm gonna do with these TV, with this TV. Um, so as you know, this one's a 58 inch Samsung uh, Full HD TV. And this one's a 60 inch Samsung Full HD TV. Now, uh, I, I didn't get into the 4K stuff, especially because this was, uh, this was given to me because it was having problems shutting off by itself. Uh, basically, I went and I uh, fixed it, I guess, I fixed it, I fixed it. And lastly, the Mac Pro. I have it all set up and kind of ready to go. So there we go. The Mac Pro, I was on the fence of either selling it or keeping it to do video edits on. Now, um, my PC is plenty strong enough. If anything, my PC right now is an i7 overclocked to about 4.5 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM, the whole dedicated graphics, the whole nine yards of the PC. PC. But then uh, I do have eight cores on that Mac Pro. Um, but it has no SSD, no USB 3.0. These are all stuff that I gotta buy and add on and upgrade to the Mac Pro if I do decide to keep it. And I decided I'm gonna keep it uh, and just dedicate it to video editing and um, audio recordings. Now, this will be my first ever switch over to Total Mac, Total OS X, because um, my main is Windows and I've always used Windows my, my whole life. So this is gonna be an interesting switch over to OS X. Uh, I'm still gonna keep the Windows PC. This is still gonna be my gaming rig that I, I rarely use anyways. Um, but the Mac is gonna be my main editing rig. Uh, yes, yes, it's, it's a little, it's, I don't know. Like the clock speed is slower, the bus speed is slower, um, I have less RAM. Uh, the video video card clock speed is way slower, but again, it should do better on on a rendering video. Hopefully, hopefully. So that's where I'm at, guys. So what I'm gonna oh no no yeah about this okay about the TVs um, yeah. So the 58 inch is a newer TV, a newer generation Samsung TV, and it's a much cleaner. It's it's the picture quality is much better on the 58 inch. So I decided to keep it out here and then the 60 inch is gonna go into the puny small bedroom. It's not that small actually. But yeah, the 60 inch is going to the bedroom so there's gonna be a huge difference in the bedroom. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and hopefully we'll switch over there. This is the current TV I have in the bedroom. It's uh, I believe it's a 46 inch or a 48 inch or a 42 inch. It's a 40 something inch and this is plenty big enough for the bedroom. Um, I usually have a lot more stuff up here but I am cleaning it out so that I could go ahead and put in the bigger TV. I have my MacBook Pro and my MacBook Air and this is where I usually keep it because I never use any of the MacBooks but if I switch over to Adobe, uh, if I switch over to OS X then I can see myself using the Macs much more often. I'm just so used to PC that I haven't touched um, anything else. So here we go. Hopefully the next shot you'll see is uh, with a much larger TV than this. Alright, I never thought I'd be saying this, but I think the TV is, uh, is too big. So let's just turn on anything. But I'm not sure how... Let me back it up here just to show you. Know the, the camera doesn't do this justice. It's just freaking huge. Which is, I mean, it's awesome. See, this is why I love Max because it just freaking works. Um, so I took out my R Link USB uh, 3.0 adapter, Wi Fi adapter, and I connected it into the Mac Pro um, USB 2.0 side. And I did not think I would get maximum speed. I do, I'm getting 115 megabits down with 11.95 11, 11 megabits up, um, or megabytes, yeah. So, I'm getting full speed off USB 2, which I would never get off my PC. So this is it, guys. I'm Now I'm just working on 
the Mac Pro, uh, hopefully I'll get it to the point where um, I'll like it. I'm not sure. I gotta do a lot of tinkering. So I'm not sure when this video is gonna be up, but I'm gonna take some pieces out of my PC here. Uh, probably one of the SSDs, and I'm gonna pop them in here and use it as a main boot drive and a load drive. I might use another SSD as a scratch disk for editing. I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna keep the one terabyte and 750 gigabyte drives in here as a spare, uh, spare space, and I'll probably load some games on that. Like the basic games, just, just the Battle.net games. And for the most part, this will be my gaming, browsing, everything PC, and this Mac Pro will be my main, uh, main audio visual, I guess. So the uh, audio interface and everything, I'm probably going to hook it up to this puppy. Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure if I have enough USB ports back here. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Uh, a few things that I want to do, I want to get OS, a clean install of uh, OSX in here because right now it's just a cloned version and I don't know how that's going to work out I don't know if uh, I don't, I don't want to run it like this you know because some stuff's not working <laughs> so let's get a clean copy of OXX in here then let's load up Premiere Pro in here and download a whole host of other things that I need to download which kind of sucks because my Wi-Fi adapter no, no, I didn't do anything. Yeah, everything should be good. All right, well, I mean, here we go. This works now, I have to get into this computer and pop off one of the, I don't know, four or five SSDs I have in this little puppy. I mean, I have another hard drive in here as well, so I gotta copy whatever's in the SSD to the other hard drive, then pop it out and pop it in here. Now I have another SSD, a 256 gigabyte Samsung SSD that I'll probably use as a scratch disk and I'll have all four of the ports used here on this computer. Either or, this is a crap ton of work. I mean, I'm putting in 10 hours to get this thing even usable. So hopefully everything works though. I mean, hopefully this little puppy is gonna be worth it. Oh, it's warm. The CPU, I, I mean, I, I didn't load out the CPU at all, so air coming out of the back is nice and cool. It is updated. Please tell me it's updated. Yet another hour has passed, and I believe I found the issue, but I don't know. Because I'm not using El Capitan to do the firmware update, I'm using Sierra. Which should not work with this firmware, but it is working. So, uh, apparently I need to upgrade the 1.4 firmware first. Yes, it's holding. This is what I needed. Now it's updating my firmware. Oh my gosh, this is such a pain in the butt. But hopefully, once I get it working, everything will be perfect. I could get Sierra on here from this computer. Here goes nothing. So this is two firmware updates back to back. Please hold on screen. As long as the screen has the Apple logo and it loads a little bit, I know it's working. That's what happened with the first firmware update. Oh, it's holding. It's holding! Yeah, it's holding! <laughs>
pretty much done. Uh, so like ten hours, ten hours of just, just grinding. Oh gosh, I hope it works. I had to use a Dremel and a drill, and I drilled out the bracket so that the SSD will fit. Oh my gosh, it works. This thing starts up in seconds. Finished! Oh my gosh, check it out. This is how I set it up. I got my PC to the right. Um, I took out an SSD from here, I put it in here. This is all done, all flashed, all ready to go. Powerhouse, pretty much. Um, fresh, fresh install of uh, Sierra. I have it connected to the studio monitors and I control it, I control the volume independently. So this is just to control the volume off my Mac Pro and then this is to control the volume off my PC. Now it might switch, I'm not sure, but controlling the volume on a Mac is so much easier. Then I have it connected to my 27 inch monitor. Yes, I have a good, it's my 27 inch monitor and it's just so perfect. I can't be happier. And this sounds amazing. I can't even put the volume past half. Uh-huh. I have to do this speaker and no subwoofer. No subwoofer. I don't know. It has digital in, digital out. I don't know, I don't know. It sounds so good though. And my subwoofer is disconnected. I can't connect my sub with the Mac. I could only connect my sub with the PC. But I don't need a sub. It sounds so good. It just makes me happy. It just makes me happy. And it makes me happy knowing I have a pretty much brand new Mac that will never give me problems. Having a Mac setup like this is so different. It feels like an actual computer. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, great night, great whenever you're watching this. Remember, live well, laugh more. <laughs>